hey <coughs> hey there welcome to the imran academy i am talking with you general mathematics of 10th class punjab textbook board lahore uh, unit 10 exercise 10.1 uh, here we are discussing the application of distance formula between two points of course lastly i had completed the first six questions of exercise 10.1 let's start from question number 8 question number 8 says show that the points a b and c are the vertices of a right triangle here we will use the distance formula and find the distance between a and b b and c and a and c so i have used the distance formula and found the distance between a and b so the formula says x2 minus x1 whole square or uh, and y2 minus y1 whole square so here i have x2 is the, x1 is this one and y1 is this one and x2 is 2 and y2 is 7 and now i can name this as x3 and y3 so <coughs> it is x2 minus x1 that is uh, 2 minus 6 squared then i have y2 minus y1 that is 7 minus 1 squared uh, just simplifying this 2 minus 6 is minus 4 squared 7 minus 1 is 6 squared so it becomes 16 plus 36 which is square root 52 now coming to other two points that is b and c and finding the distance between these two points <coughs> here i can use the formula x3 minus x2 square x3 minus x2 square and y3 minus y2 squared so negative 6 uh, minus 2 and negative 7 minus 7 So negative six and negative two becomes negative eight. So the square of negative eight is sixty-four. Negative seven and neg negative seven becomes negative fourteen, and the square of negative fourteen is one ninety-six. Adding these two and we get two hundred and sixty. Square root two hundred and sixty. Now using point A and point C. here we have x3 minus x1 and y3 minus y1 so x3 is negative 6 and x1 is also 6 so minus 6 minus 6 is becomes in minus 12 squared and uh, minus 7 minus 1 becomes minus 8 squared so the square of minus 12 is 144 similarly the square of negative 8 is 64 adding these two and we get 108 <coughs> now i have uh, found all the distances now you can see that this distance if i take the square of this one and the square of these as well then adding this one and this one the answer equals this one uh, that is since the square of bc equals the square of ab plus the square of ac the square of this term is equal to the sum of this term and this term the square of 
the sum of this term and this term that is uh, bc square equals ab square plus ac square just putting the values ab is equal to square root 52 ac equals square root 208 and bc of course 260 square root 260 just taking the squares and putting the values and then taking the squares you can clearly see that 260 equals 260 uh, hence proved uh, this is basically the Pythagoras theorem or Pythagoras theorem so Pythagoras theorem is satisfied it means these points are the vertices of a right triangle hence the points a b and c form the vertices of a right triangle next question is <coughs> show that the points a b and c are collinear here again we will just find the distance first of all between the points a b then B C then A C so we are to find the distances between these three points here again you can say that this is x1 this is y1 this is x2 y2 x3 y3 so a b x2 minus x1 that is 6 minus 2 squared plus y2 minus y1 that is 2 minus 4 squared 6 minus 2 is 4 so 4 squared and 2 minus 4 is minus 2 so minus 2 squared 4 square is 16 and 2 uh, minus 2 square is 4 so it becomes 20 like this <coughs> so BC is uh, x3 minus x2 squared that is 4 minus 6 squared plus uh, y3 minus y2 squared that is 3 minus 2 squared 3 minus 2 squared so it becomes minus 2 squared plus 1 squared everything in the square root sign so square of negative 2 is 4 and square of 1 is 1 so it becomes square root 5 now AC <coughs> x3 minus x1 squared that is 4 minus 2 squared plus y3 minus y1 squared that is 3 minus 4 squared so we have 4 minus 2 squared is 2 squared and 3 minus 4 squared is minus 4 minus 1 squared so it becomes 4 and 1 again this is 5 so that is what we have right now and we'll try to show that these we'll just see that these points are the vertices of a right triangle uh, sorry uh, are collinear points or not so let's see adding the two terms should give an answer for the third term uh, clearly here we, you can see that adding 
any two terms does not give us the answer for the third term okay uh, let's see uh, a b distance a b is equal to b c plus a c and uh, distance a b is square root 20 b c is square root 5 and a c is square root 5 as well so uh, it becomes uh, 2 times square root 5 and here we have square root 20 <coughs> So, uh, square root 20 can also be, if we just factor this, so we can write this square root 20 as 2 square into 5, so it goes out of the radical sign. Okay, so it means these points are collinear points. Hence proved that points A, B and C are linear points and that is it with this we come to the end of this lecture thanks for watching inshallah in the next lecture I will try to cover the next questions of this exercise till the next lecture it is goodbye